beer making process is probably one of the oldest trades in the world. We brew beer in the Western society since uh, thousands of years and in uh, Germany we still adhere, for example, to the purity law, which means uh, we brew beers only with four raw materials, water, yeast, hops and barley. And therefore, when we talk about sustainability, it's actually very easy to focus on these raw materials because climate change has a significant impact. And therefore, we brewers should not just look at sourcing these raw materials, but actually interact in the value chain with farmers and finding solutions to make these raw materials more sustainable. My name is Andreas Dick, I am a learned hopfenbauer. Ich bin aber auch Bierbrauer, habe 96 in der Bitburger Brauerei meine Ausbildung gemacht und bin mit Leidenschaft Hopfenbauer. Aber die enge Beziehung natürlich zur Brauerei ist einfach tagtäglich gegeben, indem man mit den Mitarbeitern vom Lehrling bis zum Chef über Hopfen spricht und philosophiert. Und das macht meinen Beruf so interessant. Wir spüren natürlich in unserer alltäglichen Arbeit den Klimawandel. Da müssen wir uns einfach mit verschiedenen Pflanzen, mit unseren Züchtungen umstellen. Wir brauchen Pflanzgut, die genau sowas in so einem Klima optimale Aroma und Bitterstoffe bringen. Wir müssen aber auch unsere Anbauweise leicht verändern. Wir Hopfenbauern oder wir Landwirte allgemein, wir denken ja nicht nur über ein, zwei Jahre, sondern wir denken in Generationen. Das Wichtigste, was wir jetzt hier bei uns neben unserem wertvollen Hopfen hier haben, ist natürlich unser Boden. Und den müssen wir pflegen. Wir brauchen eine hohe Bodenfruchtbarkeit. Wir müssen den Boden gesund halten. Das merkt man, indem man dran riecht. Was wir besonders für unseren Anbau hier machen, wir arbeiten mit Zwischenfrüchten, dass wir den Hopfen zum Teil bedecken und dann in der Sommerphase oder auch in der Winterphase dann natürlich wieder grob einarbeiten, sodass Regenwürmer und Bodelebewesen optimale Bedingungen finden, unseren Boden, unser Gut gesund zu halten. At Bitburger, we are known for actually adhering on the one side to, to a traditional technology-driven process to create the best possible product at the end of the day, but finding innovative solutions. And that has been always in the genes of our company already over the last 200 years. And it starts in the brew house, it's a batch process, where the biggest focus for us is obviously energy recovery. So since decades already, we are recovering our condensate in our vapors to use also the last energy in the brew house and to make it a sustainable process in the brew house. Uh, in the lagering, in the fermenting cellars also. We, we try to apply ways and means on recover as much as possible energy. We have the biggest power plant in the brewing industry. It's a combined power plant, uh, heat and power, uh, co-generating plant where we are running in approximately over 90% efficiencies. That's compared to traditional power plants. It's a, it's a huge step ahead. So we believe that putting a little bit more innovative solutions and a bit more creativity and finding also the right partners to have a more structured approach, we believe that the brewing making process and distribution process can be significantly more sustainable and we want to be their spirit at our industry. Bitburger has gradually and continuously aligned its processes um, to be more sustainable and is the first brewery in the world to be uh, certified according to the ZNU standard driving sustainable change. Through certification by independent third parties, uh, the effectiveness of this system is reviewed annually. This ensures a particularly high level of credibility towards the uh, relevant stakeholder groups. Next to all of the sustainable approaches with regards to our technology uh, in the brewing making process, we realize that we still have carbon emissions we cannot reduce. So the biggest focus in our uh, sustainable structured approach is actually looking at the carbon footprint and understanding the carbon footprint. Where does it come from in our company? Our goal, our vision is to be at the end of the year a CO2 neutral, a carbon neutral production 
And therefore, we have to find partners who help us also in compensating uh, the CO2 emissions we cannot avoid and we cannot reduce. The ZNU and um, its partner companies uh, are aiming to act climate neutral um, at their um, site by 2022. Plan for the Planet is uh, our preferred compensation partner. Um, in the context of our uh, project ZNU goes zero and the Bitburger Brewery is one of the first movers of this project and uh, they compensate uh, their emissions by planting trees with Plan for the Planet. With Plant for the Planet, we found one initiative uh, which is for us really truly believable because they do a really believable approach in finding ways to compensate CO2 for us. And they are compensating our carbon emissions by greening in Mexico and not just using old plants, old technologies uh, which are actually not really viable for our future. We as a company try to have a very structured approach with regards to sustainability. So we try to take actively a leadership in our industry, playing a role uh, in the brewing industry, but we do it also with a lot of other companies who feel the same responsibility. And I love listening also to the young generation. We have a, as a company a great deal, great focus on apprenticeship on our training programs. We make them sustainable ambassadors in our companies because we think that we have to listen to the next generation. And that's something I really enjoy, um, working with the next generation, helping the next generation, shaping the future for the next generation. It's a responsibility we should all have um, and it's, it's fun. I love it, uh, it's a great job. I think it's a great honor to be able to run this family business in the seventh generation, to follow the footsteps of great leaders uh, in my family. But on the other hand, it's also a great responsibility which is uh, on our shoulders. And I'm looking forward to playing my role, playing our role uh, in this industry and shaping the future for the next generations to come.